I received the brand new Wanbo Da Vinci One Pro, which I think is the most beautiful and elegant projector of the brand. And because it is Pro, it integrates excellent 4K decoding and game mode, come with me to review it. Digital greetings, everyone, I'm your friend Javi and today we are going to review together the newest and most modern projector from the Wanbo brand, the Da Vinci One Pro, the latest Wanbo gem that already integrates the Google TV operating system and makes it compatible with everything. So once and for all, let's go to its unboxing. This video comes thanks to GamsGo, the web platform where you can buy your most popular streaming accounts such as Netflix, Prime Video, HBO Max, Disney Plus, and per profile. You do not need to pay the entire entire account and it will only cost you a third of the price, which on its official website. Scan this QR code or enter the link in the description and try it, even with a profile to convince yourself. Due to its low price you have nothing to lose and you will save a lot. The latest and newest Wanbo projector has finally arrived, the DaVinci One Pro. It is the fifth projector launched by the Wanbo brand by 2024, with the aim of becoming a world leader in domestic projectors. Inside the box we find a small guide, the DaVinci One Pro projector an AC cable and a Google G1 Bluetooth remote control adapted to use for this projector. Well protected in its bag is the DaVinci One Pro, this time in a nice aluminum gray color and metallic finish. They have a square, beautiful appearance and with a good volumetric cavity for sound. The metal mesh on the front makes it look elegant and although the box looks like aluminum, it's not, it's just plastic, but it looks very good quality. At the front is the sensor for autofocus. The 5 cm optical glass lens and this bar with the brand that gives it character. On the sides it has grills with an X design that gives it a modern look. Above it has nothing and behind it are its connections which are its voltage input, the power button, the infrared receiver, two USB inputs, one HDMI input and one audio output and below it has four rubber feet that can be removed to screw on a ceiling mount and also integrates its kickstand to raise the projection. Due to its metallic finish, it has the most premium appearance of all Wanbo models. It has good presence and looks very pretty up close. What do you think of this design? Leave me what you think in the comments. The DaVinci One Pro is a well-performing smart LCD projector with LED lighting. It has a square design, with a large enough sound box to improve audio and 600 ANSI lumens of brightness and it also costs $399 in the Wanbo store. If you want to buy it, you can use my purchase coupon called DaVinci One Pro underscore Javi, which you must write in this box and then click apply. With that you will get a good discount of $110 and you can buy it saving a good amount of money. In addition, the fact that it is Pro gives it more powerful features, such as improved correction algorithms and more efficient 4K decoding. Its specifications are very decent and its performance is quite good according to the tests I have carried out. Keep in mind that the DaVinci One Pro does not have a tripod nut, so you should only put it on a table or ceiling mount. In addition, you will not appreciate it well in light, so it is best to use it in the dark. After autofocus, it will ask you to pair the remote control via Bluetooth, connect to your Wi-Fi network, Enter your Google account and then the assistant will guide you until you are in the main Google TV interface. With Google TV you will have all the advantages of a certified device and you will know that it is certified by its configuration menu. This is the official Google TV menu, from here I am going to change the language. But you can also check the storage. You can check the version of Android TV, which is version 11 and you can also connect to any of your devices via Bluetooth. This projector has two great advantages. The first is that it is certified by Google with Wide Vide Level L1 certification, which means that it supports all platforms at the maximum resolution of the projector and the second is that its improved 4K decoding algorithm scales very well. The 4K format and how you see it, the projector can recognize it and reproduce it with excellent quality. The remote control has a dedicated button to access the projection settings menu and has multiple options for projection, image, sound, etc. You can precisely correct all four projection points, zoom the screen and control all corrections. The DaVinci One Pro integrates the automatic recognition and adaptation algorithm, all seen 3.0, which corrects the projection in real time and in seconds. That means that no matter how you move it, 
the projector will always seek to focus and square the image as best as possible. I have been testing it and the truth is that it works quite well. In operation, its fan is very quiet, averaging 42 decibels, so that small noise will be easily drowned out by the sound of the projector's images. As it is a certified device, it integrates the Google Assistant. Buscar videos de autos en YouTube. De acuerdo, aquí tienes algunos videos. And it works very well and above all it is fast to do any type of search using your voice. Abrir Netflix. Perfecto, abriendo Netflix. It also integrates the official Chromecast that allows you to duplicate your cell phone screen. To do this, I recommend using the Google Home application on your cell phone, since it is an app from Google itself and therefore will be fully compatible with the projector. And regarding the delay, it does exist, but it is very small. The texts are read very well, so you could also use it to give a talk or conference, but be careful, in places with little light or in the dark. It integrates a wireless module that is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and when I tested it with my Wi-Fi network, you can see that I get about 260 symmetrical megabits, which is excellent, since for 4K streaming with 30 megabytes of speed it will work perfectly, so it is good in connectivity. Another advantage is that it has the official Google Play Store and here there are applications for everything. For example, I downloaded the EasyViz app, which is the brand of my security camera. Can you imagine how useful it is to be able to check your security cameras from time to time directly from your projector? Not only is it cool, but you increase your security one more level. And as it couldn't be less, you can also install APK files. That's why I installed Majus TV to test and it works great. It looks great. It runs smoothly and it doesn't crash. This projector has the hardware of a TV box. Perhaps it lacks a little more storage, which you could increase with a USB memory. But with 2 GB of RAM it will be fine for all its normal functions. Let's get straight to the images since the DaVinci One Pro is so intuitive that you can start using it right out of the box, although to get even better image quality and colors, a slight calibration is necessary. The new DaVinci One Pro is a completely sealed optics LCD projector, which integrates Wanbo's latest and most powerful projection technology and which is in almost all of its latest projectors, called Pixel Pro 5.0. I have tested this projection technology in both the Mozart 1 and the Wanbo X5 and I really like the quality of images it achieves. They are truly full HD images, they are very clear, fluid and seen from a safe distance. I assure you that they will not you will see no pixelation. Pixel Pro 5.0 integrates an intelligent image algorithm called All Scene 3.0 which Wanbo has developed to give the best possible realism to images. Just look at what this pepper looks like. I'm going to pause it there so you can see how cool it looks, almost almost, it causes cooking. But it is not only that, it also integrates an improved 4K decoding algorithm just like the Mozart 1 Pro, but it is not because it projects 4K images, because it is only full HD, but it changes the display scale, losing the lowest possible quality in the process. Furthermore, Combining this with the Google TV operating system certification and its lens consisting of three layers of optical glass and one layer of spherical glass, you have a projector device capable of achieving spectacular images. While it is true, it is the one with the least ANSI lumens compared to the Mozart 1 which is 900 and the Wanbo X5 which is 1100. But I have tried them all, I assure you that, in a dark room and projecting at 120 inches, the difference is not abysmal either. The focusing mechanism is very good, since the corners have the same focus as the center and not everyone achieves that. There are also no brighter areas, no circles of light in the center, or dark side bands like in other cheaper models, because the intensity of the light brightness is homogeneous and well distributed throughout the screen. Overall, the DaVinci One Pro is the result of a long development and launches of Wanbo projectors, in which the brand has learned a lot, and all that experience benefits the end user because they can be offered an excellent device at a price just because of all the technology it integrates. Of course, it has some small disadvantages, such as it only has 8 gigabits of storage and stayed at 600 ANSI lumens, but those are details that the user has to weigh in their final decision when comparing it with another model. The word pro that accompanies this projector indicates that it is faster than non-pro models and we will see it with my input lag in FPS meter. Once my meter is connected, it sends a flashing HDMI signal that the meter itself can read with its sensor, 
and as you can see I get a reading of about 50 milliseconds, the same as on the Mozart 1 Pro, which is very decent. 50 milliseconds of input lag is a measurement obtained even by many Sony smart TVs, as I already demonstrated in a previous video, and below that value you can play quite well. Of course, an input lag of 2 milliseconds is much better, but that occurs on smart TVs or monitors that are gaming and therefore more expensive. If you already have a certified TV box, the Mozart 1 or the Wanbo X5 would be better for you, but if you do not have a TV box and want to have your projector with official Android, then it is better to choose between the Mozart 1 Pro or the DaVinci 1 Pro, both already certified and that will save you the expense of a TV box. Actually, I really like all of the last five Wanbo projectors, but there are small differences for each user's taste that will make them choose one or the other. The DaVinci 1 Pro is Wanbo's new projection option, although the truth is, I don't know if it will be the last. The truth is that with so many models that Wanbo has launched this year, it has left more than one person a little confused. But all of them are great and this Wanbo DaVinci 1 Pro is too, and that's why I'm making a special video of all the Wanbo together, in an epic versus, that will clarify all your doubts. In the meantime, help me and let's democratize technology as, by subscribing to my channel and liking my videos that you like, so you can continue creating pro content, like this one, until the next video.